So every day I go out and tend my garden. I absolutely love gardening. It is something that feeds my soul and feeds my family. Um, love it. And there are so many lessons that we can learn from gardening about business and about life that I just absolutely love it. I wanted to share just a couple of thoughts with you about that today. Welcome to my journey of self-discovery, life balance, career success, and business creation. This podcast works to answer the question of how successful professionals like us stop drifting and get focused on keeping our careers and businesses growing rapidly while having a full, balanced, and vibrant life that we absolutely love, what we call The Third Power Life. And this is The Third Power Life Podcast. One of my favorite programs by Jim Rohn is him talking about the story of the sower. And, uh, you know, he takes kind of a parable from the, from the Bible and relates it to, you know, personal development. Um, if you ever get a chance to listen to it, I, I, I'm not even going to attempt to, to paraphrase it because I will butcher it and it's a wonderful story. But kind of the, the crux of it is that, you know, basically you reap what you sow, but not everything that you sow is going to come up. And such is the same with my garden, right? You know, there are a lot of things that I planted, you know, my carrots and, you know, some hot peppers and, you know, some chives that almost none of it came up. There are other things that are doing like really, really well. You know, I've got tomatoes like crazy and, you know, Carolina Reaper peppers. If you're into that, I've got a ton of those too. Uh, but some of the things that we plant are going to do very well. Some of the things that we plant may not. So that's why you need to keep planting. Um, so that's why in our, in our life, in our business, in our, you know, in our work, we need to constantly be planting new seeds and you know, planting new opportunities and be working on, on that. And what we put in, we will return. And if you're not planting, you're not going to get anything, right? Now, the other really important thing, and it was actually what got me on this theme today, is I was reading in um, my, my Daily Stoic, and talked about how it's easier to stop things in the beginning than trying to wait until later. And it's true with our habits. It's true with so many things where if, if you can start when it's small, you, know, you you start to to see a bad habit and you stop it then it's not that hard but if you wait until you've been smoking for years or whatever now it's really hard to stop and i was thinking about that with my garden that right now i have one <clears throat> kind of one bed of you know with my squash and, and other things that has gotten a little taken over by weeds, right? Now my other plants, my strawberries and my peppers and all of that, I've been very diligent. You know, whenever I go out in the morning and water it, kind of my meditation time has been watering it. And I'll see like a little, you know, a little tiny piece of grass or a little weed in there. And I just reach down and pull it out. No big deal. Super easy. Takes like 30 seconds. But this one bed, I just, I hadn't gotten to, I hadn't got to, I've been putting it off because it was, there were a few things in there. I'm like, yeah, I'll get to that. Procrastination, anyone, anyone? Um, <laughs> so I put it off and now, now it's going to be a pain. There's a lot of work to go and clear out all of those full grown weeds that are in this bed. And so it, had I started and done it when it was small, like I was doing to my other plants, it would have been maybe two minutes, three minutes, right? Now it's going to be a 20 or 30 minute task. So instead of it being something simple and quick, now it's like, Ugh, I don't want to do it, right? And so that's what it's like in our lives. If we will pull the weeds early, if we will stop 
the bad habits early, right? Or start the good habits early. Or when we are on our quest and we fall off, when we fall, fall out of the diet, if we immediately pull that weed that I made a mistake and get started again, life will be so much better because it's easy to do in that moment. It's a lot easier to do in that moment to pull that weed while it's young and small versus waiting until it's gotten big and the, the roots go everywhere. And so when you pull it out, you're pulling up other things too, <laughs> which I did to the few of my carrots that did sprout. Anyway, um, <laughs> capture things when they're small, right? The last one that I'm, I'm going to leave you with, my, my last little lesson is water it every day. Go out there and check things every day. You know, for yourself, that's why I, you know, do my my journal every day. That's why to break the chain, one of the items, the, the red X's that you see up here, that's my morning routine. That's where I've journaled, I've meditated, and I've studied. And I have to do all three of those to get that X, right? And because that daily reflection is important. Just like going out every morning to check my garden, you know, there are, there are worms, hornworms that will decimate a tomato plant in a day, right? You know, you go out and you check and like, Hey, there's, there's some leaves missing here. It's like really hard to see them. <laughs> You got to really look because they're camouflaged well. You catch it that morning and you're fine. You've lost, you know, this much of a tomato plant. You wait until the next day, the whole tomato plant's gone. I mean, it's, it's amazing. They will cut it. They will chew it down to the stems. All the leaves are gone in a matter of a day, day and a half. So every day I go out there and I check and I water. And, you know, looking at the color of the leaves, making sure that they're healthy, making sure they're getting the nutrients they require. Do they need fertilizer? You know, are they being overwatered? Are they getting too much sun? So I'm evaluating <clears throat> my whole garden every day, just like I'm evaluating the garden of my life, you know, doing my meditation, doing that self-reflection. Am I where I want to be? Am I going the direction that I want to go? Is this what's important? You know, and for today, for this day, where what needs the most attention? Is it the pepper plants that like right now I need to go pick my jalapenos because they're they're overflowing with fruit. So I've got to get them now before they rot on the on the plant. That's where my focus needs to be today, is that my jalapeno plants. Tomorrow, it may be the strawberries or the grapevine, right? So every day when I do when I do my journal and do my meditation, I'm thinking, what's my one thing today? Where do I need to focus? We need to be doing that with our lives just like we do with a garden. Now, there are some days <clears throat> when you got to deal with multiple things, <laughs> right? <laughs> and that's the reality of it. But being aware and checking every day. Where am I today? How's the garden doing today? How's my soul doing today? How's my spirit doing today? How's my attitude doing today? Do I need to take a day of rest? Or do I need to kick myself in the butt and put it in high gear and do some extra today? Where are you? That's what we need to ask ourselves every day. So those are my, my lessons from the garden for this fine day. So I hope that you have a garden that flourishes, and I hope that you have a soul that flourishes and a life lived to the third power. Until next time. I'm glad you enjoyed this podcast. Please let us know what impacted you in today's episode. You can join our Discord or Facebook community to connect with like-minded people that want a real third power life. 
You can go to thirdpowerlife.com or look in the show notes for links. And remember, hit that like, subscribe, and rate button for the Third Power Life podcast. Until next time.